Hi everybody, um, today I'm looking at number facts. Um, we're going to look at number facts to 10 um, and then I'm going to give the children a little challenge at the end. Um, we'll see if they can use the same strategy as me to find the number facts for lots of different numbers. Um, so the first one that I have, I have a 10 frame here. So on this 10 frame it has, it's just like a little grid and it has 10 squares on this grid and then in those we have these um, frame counters. These are really easy to, to make at home. You can just print off a little table or you can draw a little grid onto a piece of paper and then just use some counters or other small little objects to help you to do this. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to find all the different ways to make 10 all together. Um, and so I'm going to put a little story with this because putting it in context really um, helps the children to grasp an understanding of what they're doing. So here I've got 10 red juicy apples. Um, so how many bad rotten apples have I got? Well, I haven't got any. They're all nice juicy red apples. So I've got 10 lovely juicy apples and I've got zero bad apples. So 10 add zero equals 10. I'm going to write that down on my board. So I've got 10 add zero equals 10. So then looking at my 10 frame again here, I'm going to turn one over. Well now I've got something different. How many red juicy apples have I got now? I've got nine juicy red apples, but one of my apples is bad. So I've got one part of it is nine good apples and the other part of my 10 is one bad apple. So nine add one equals 10 altogether. So I'm going to write that down on my board too. So nine add one equals 10. And then we keep repeating this. So I'm going to turn another one over on my 10 frame. So what's happened this time? Now we've got eight nice juicy red apples and we've got two bad apples. So this eight part and two part all together makes 10 apples. So I'm write that down on here. So eight add two equals 10. And then I'm going to go back to my 10 frame again. I'm going to turn one over. So now I have seven juicy red apples and I've got three bad apples. So one part out of my 10 is seven good apples. Another part out of my 10 is three bad rotten apples. So seven add three equals 10 apples altogether. I'm going to write that on here, seven add three equals 10. Okay. I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to turn one over and now I've got six juicy red apples this time. So I've got one part of my 10 is six red juicy apples and the other part of my 10 is four bad apples. So six add four equals 10 apples altogether in my 10 frame. So I'm going to write that on here, six add four equals 10. So I'm going to turn one over again. And how many have I got now? So I've got one, two, three, four, five lovely red juicy apples, and I've got five bad rotten apples. So five add five equals 10 altogether. I'm going to write that on here. So five, oh, can't see me. 5 add 5 equals 10. So then I would start to get the children to predict what they think might happen next. So what would be the next way that we could find? We've got 5 and 5. So if we turn over another one, what will we have? So I have one more bad apple, which is 6, and we've got a 4 here. So now we've got 4 lovely red juicy apples, and now we've got 6 bad apples. So on here... I would put four, add six equals 10. And then I would start to look at with the children that we're starting 
to see that these ways they look different but it's the same numbers because adding can be done in any order and so it's the same calculation just the other way round. And so that will continue. So we turn another one over and I've now got seven bad apples and three good apples on here. So now I would write that again on here. So we've got three good apples plus seven bad apples and that equals 10 altogether. And again, we can see that those two are the same calculation, but the other way round. I'm not going to show any more of those because I wonder if the children could finish that off for themselves and see if they can find all the ways of making 10. But my challenge for the year one children is that I would like you to find all the different ways, either using um, a frame like Mrs Pierce's. So if you were finding all the ways of making six, then you would make yourself a little six frame. Um, if you're finding other ways of making eight, then you can make a little eight frame. Or if you were doing seven, you'd do a little seven frame, which would look a bit like this. Okay, so you'd have those seven parts on your, your seven frame. Okay, so I want you to see if you can find all the different ways of making two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And if you manage to find all of those different ways for Mrs Pierce and send it to me via dojo, then I will give some mathematicians a fantastic few dojos, maybe even a wow dojo. Okay, so good luck, good investigating, and I look forward to seeing your work. Bye-bye.